I think it was like the day before in training when I really found out that I was starting because earlier in the week I was just training how it would be any, any other week and then a couple of boys went down injured and yeah like the day before I saw in shape that I was I was starting and he didn't actually pro properly come up and tell me but I think it was, he thought it'd be easier for me to just for it to just happen rather than let me know a few days before you know so yeah that's kind of how that all happened. The big surprise though is 16 year old scholarship player Jacob Italiano who's been given a huge opportunity in his first match to play up front alongside Andy Keogh. He just said have fun, like your opportunities come so just go out and enjoy yourself and yeah I'm very very thankful for that so yeah that helped me out, just gave me all the confidence to go out and do what I, what I can. Opens the door now for the glory, Mills in a Keogh, flicked it on Italiano, so close the 16 year old. Yeah I was one at the near post, yeah probably should have scored to be fair but you know we'll forgive that I'm sure. Yeah I think like I went like obviously I pushed to train with the first team for all that, that chance so I guess when it came I kind of just wanted to take it and obviously like it wasn't a big build up, it was just the day before I was playing, just let my mind relax and yeah, the rest is history. Yeah they were probably more nervous than me to be fair, especially mum, she's, she's one that likes to get a bit stressed out you know so she was very nervous but yeah I was just telling her just relax like it's an opportunity that I need to take so yeah. Yeah, first win was good. It was a big win as well against a strong team away, so it was good to see the boys in a, a good mood, happy mood. It was good to be a part of it. What about this skill from the talented team? First up, Italiano. And that's 16 what it's about. years of age. I think I played a bit of a part in that game as well. Managed to get involved with a penalty, so yeah, it was good. Very good experience. Well, I initially didn't think too much of it like when it actually got the impact and went down and I kind of got up and tried to jog back on but that, then like I, my knee caved in again that's when I realised like it was an actual problem and then a bit of thoughts came into my head and I was obviously very upset in the night but like I knew it was I still had all the season to get myself right and I knew just a bit of hard work and yeah then I'd be fine for, for this time now. Obviously the ones that influenced me you'd say the the big boys like Castro and Keo and that they like the way they train day in day out, the way they play on the weekends. Obviously, inspires me to, to obviously similar players. Them attackers wanting to score goals and create things. Obviously, it's a great learning to watch them every day, day in day out. And maybe like one of my best mates would be Walter Scott, Jackson Lee, some of the younger boys that you know we just grind out the training sessions, get them, get them good, like and make it fun. So yeah, that's probably a few shout outs. It was a bit surreal at the moment. It wasn't really like obviously it didn't settle in like it's a big club in Europe, you know, like I didn't think like they'd be looking for someone like me playing for Perth Glory, you know, so it was a bit it was a bit crazy, but yeah. The next couple of weeks after like it started settling in and then you realise like yeah, it's great, like got so much work to do, but like the opportunity's there now, so just gotta take it. You'd be like, you'd want to say no, but obviously there's a bit like where you're like, it's a whole different country, a whole different language. Like, yeah, it's it's brutal over there. But like I've been told by the older boys, like just do you, you know, like go go do your best, try kill it, and if it doesn't work out, then you know there's always here, and if it does work out, then there you go. So yeah, I'm I'm more just excited than anything. I'll be going over solo. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Get used to, you know, living on my own as soon as possible. So yeah, be going over solo. With the SAP program, younger was Sean Darcy. He was very good with us young boys. A lot of us that have come through here and still with the youth team and that. He was very good, very influential for me at the start. And my dad took me for a few years as well with Inglewood. And he claims that, but you know, it was that was more just me me having fun rather than him coaching me. And then I think obviously uh, at the AIS with Tony Vidmar and Ulfuk Tale, I think they're both doing very well and they were very good influences on me. And now obviously Kenny last year gave me an opportunity and uh, the boss this year, last season, he, in terms of tactics and everything, he's, he's set me up really well for, for going over. Uh, we won a competition in Cambodia for the under 16s I want to say and that was my first like competition win so that was obviously good we won won the semis and the final in pens I believe so that was that was really good you know with with some of my closest mates winning that over in a foreign country was yeah it was awesome 
dad and my brother were probably the reasons. Obviously, they, my dad loved football. He came, grew up in France, and that like they love football there. So when he came over, like he just, my brother's 24, and when he was born, they just as soon as he was old enough, they took him to football. And then when I was old enough to go watch, they'd take me. And then yeah, that's pretty much why I just went straight into it. Yeah, well, I was a local boy, so I used to come to all the games and everything. So that's that's what made it that, that much better, getting making the debut. One year, I remember Andre Zinho, one of the wingers. He was his step overs and everything. He was crazy. I think, and obviously in more recent years, Castro has always been been the number one. Probably the most memorable game was the final against Brisbane, where we ended up losing. That was probably the most the one that sticks in your memory the most as a fan over those years, which was disappointing. But yeah, I have. Yes, last season it was yeah not my best choices. I think I like a bit more. Maybe this is too much, but. Yeah, a bit, bit, bit more than clean shaving.